Our colleague Alex Wilkins this week found an amazing paper on the scientific way to make cacio e pepe. That means cheese and pepper, and it refers to the classic and very simple dish of spaghetti with grated cheese well, and you, black pepper. You say very p- simple. That's what I thought. But, uh, well, so th- this study has happened because these we've got a ho- whole load of Italian physicists working in Germany, yeah. trying home cooking, and they're just getting frustrated that this simple dish is coming out different every time. And being physicists, mm. they decided to li- like really rigorously test the, uh, all the different methods for I, making I it. I love it. But for such mm. a simple dish, how can there be that many different well, variables? So th- there's spaghetti, black pepper, pecorino, and uh, the starchy pasta water. Mm. And it's about combining those. It's all about how you combine them to get a different consistency of sauce. And these physicists are, are phase matter physicists so right, they're talking about the phase transition <laughs> of the cheese and the and the water mixture uh, if you get it too hot or it has the the wrong balance of cheese and starch then you get these lumps in it they're, they're very upset if they get lumps in the in the <laughs> sauce and Alex called up the physicist and I was sat next to him when he was on the call it was it lasted almost an hour wow. it was the most amazing <laughs> thing um, it was the most Italian thing ever really what is the news you can use is there a take home message well so it's very controversial yeah is that they would add cornstarch mm. to the sauce and, and thicken it slightly but it has caused I'm told uh, it's caused outrage amongst uh, the Italian community there <laughs>